Hi there, my name is Randy Fay. I'm a maintainer and the project lead of the DDEV project. And DDEV is a development environment for people to use on their local machine. It works on Windows and Mac and Linux and WSL2. And yesterday we released the um, 1.24.7 version that has a new Windows installer. I want to show you that because it massively improves the speed of the ability to uh, install on Windows any way you want to. So I'm going to give you a, a quick demo of that. Hopefully it'll uh, all work correctly. It has worked for me over and over and over again. What we're going to do is use Windows with WSL2. I'll probably have to reboot and leave you for a minute, but I think that we will probably be able to set up um, a, uh, a full DDEV project from scratch in under 10 minutes or thereabouts. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're just going to go to ddev.com. We're going to say get started. Go to the get started page. We will choose the Windows option here. And the first step is we're going to WSL dash dash install. So right now it's about 824. And let me use a uh, let me use PowerShell, and I'm going to say WSL dash dash install. It elevated, and it's now installing that. And usually this will make me reboot, so I imagine I'll have to reboot. It takes just a moment. This stuff works a lot more predictably than it used to, and it, you should have the same experience on your own machine that I have on this one. Uh, I have pretty good internet speed, so the download of that might have been a little faster than it might otherwise have been. It's downloading Ubuntu, so we can use it later. Ubuntu is our uh, default distribution, and it's the, and it's the one that we're uh, assuming that we'll use uh, it, with DDEV, although you can use other distributions. Ubuntu is very easy. Okay, so now it gives you this cryptic message that says the operation could not be started because required feature is not installed. So let's just reboot and see what happens. Okay. It rebooted, and now let's see. So we did step one, the WSL dash dash install. Now let's create a distro. Let's see how that works. I'm going to run PowerShell again. CMD would work the same. And I am going to say WSL dash dash install dash dash name DDEV. You can give it any name you want. In fact, I didn't even know that the name parameter was there until a couple of days ago. takes a minute to download it and provision it. It doesn't take too long. Okay, I always use RPA. And I got the password wrong. So there I am. And I am now right here in the distro. I noticed that it has landed me by default on the Windows file system. I don't want that. I'm not going to stay here for now anyway. But I want to do everything in here in the slash home in the, window, in the native WSL world here. So that's actually all I have to do. I'm going to say... I'm going to say exit out of there. And now I'm going to go over here to, um, well, let's just do what it says and we'll say WSL-L-V. -V. Um, you see we have one, re one uh, distro running. It's named DDEV and it's version 2. That's what we want. And now I'm going to run the installer. Let's go get the installer from the releases. And 
we will get the, uh, this is an AMD 64 machine. So we want the, I'm going to have to say show all assets here. We want the Windows AMD 64 installer. So we're going to get that. And run it. And it elevated that. And now we will just click Next, accept the license. Now here, there are three options in the installer. We're going to do the WSL2 with Docker CE. That's my favorite, but we do support doing it with Docker Desktop or Rancher Desktop. And traditional Windows also actually works pretty well these days. It doesn't, uh, doesn't require you to change context and think about, uh, think about WSL2. The WSL2 is the fastest of these and the most like your target environment. So I'm just gonna say that. It uh, wants me to select the distro that we're gonna use. We only have one that we're gonna use it. And we'll put a couple of artifacts into the uh, install directory and make cert wants to install our, our CA so that we have trusted HTTPS. And now this is going through, and I can show you what this is actually doing. It's just doing all the things that you would do to a Linux machine, which is what WSL2 is. It's doing all the things that you would do to get ready to run DDEV. So it's installing the packages and the Docker CE package and the, the other required packages and that sort of thing. So it'll be ready in just a moment. Okay, there we are, and we like you to stay here and go and uh, click through to see how to support the DDEV project. It's very, very important. Uh, your, your sponsorship is very important. So anyway, it's done with that. Now let's go back and let's just run the Windows. My favorite thing to do here is to run the Windows terminal, um, and you'll see we already have a DDEV entry there. Um, so I'm just going to launch that. It's now 8.34. Uh, we just spent 10 minutes, including the WSL install and everything else that we needed to do. And we have DDEV completely installed. We have not installed a project yet, but we're, we're about to do that. But we got, we got everything on the computer set up in 10 minutes. So I'm just going to make a project called Junk here. First of all, let's just uh, do a DDEV version and see that things are working. You see that we got 1.24.7 dev dash dash version, and we have Docker working okay. And so I'm gonna make a directory called junk. I do this a lot. And I am going to put just an index.html in it. And it's gonna say hi there. And this will prove that everything is working so we can see that. Now I'm gonna do a dev config dash dash auto which just says hey set it up use the current directory just go for it now i'm going to say ddev launch um, i'm going to say ddev start first launch just starts and then loads it i'm going to let it send the uh, the anonymous uh, information to us so that we uh, so that helps the project to know how people are using it and that sort of thing now it's got a uh uh couple of minutes to download these Docker images. These actually aren't as annoying as they appear right at this very second because they only get pulled the, uh, the first time you use them. So it's basically when you do a new, uh, when you do a new DDEV uh, version, when you upgrade DDEV is when you see this or when you've done the first install. But it doesn't happen like on every start or uh, it doesn't happen uh, on every project it starts the first time that that image is needed. So 
we're getting all these and then we'll be able to launch this in just a second. So our first junk project is almost alive. There it is. And I'm going to say DDEV launch. And it's going to open a browser on the Windows side. And you notice that it, it opened the browser on the Windows side with our index.html and with a a secure connection. We didn't have to do anything. The installer did all the things necessary to make that work. So I can continue on and do a little bit more, but that is basically the whole demo uh, in about 12 minutes from zero to a running project. We installed Windows and WSL2 and DDEV on a Windows machine and it's ready to go. But just for extra credit, I'm going to just set up a Drupal 11 project. I'm going to just check out one that I have. I'm going to clone. This is just a current uh, Drupal 11. And I'll go in there. I'm going to do a ddev config, and it will know that everything, it knows everything that it needed to know already. It got all the defaults for me. And I'm going to do a ddev composer install. Um, it already, this, this particular checkout already has the composer.json in it. So I don't really have to do anything. And the composer install does all of the things that you need it. Uh, it does all the things that we need to fill in the vendor uh, and then it starts and it also starts uh, DDEV. It uses the PHP and Composer inside the container so that you always have a consistent version of those. So here we have everything in. I'm just going to do a, well here let's do a DDEV launch. So here we have, here we have a it's all set up. We can just go through the process here. Usually I would use Drush SI to do this, but you can see that this is running really fast, does the install really fast, really nicely, and uh, we will be done in half a second. So that's it. That's how easy it is to get a, uh, a DDEV uh, setup going on going on windows now you don't have to anymore run a fancy powershell script or issue any other fancy commands even if you haven't already installed uh, even if you haven't already installed wsl it's there and by the way wsl works on all supported versions of windows and has for a couple of years so thanks for listening and we're always happy to Talk with you in all of the all of the support channels in the DDEV issue queue and everywhere else. But I just wanted to show you how proud we are of how easy it is to install on Windows now. Thanks a bunch.